Bootstrap Studio has got a few new updates and one being the JavaScript editor. So I'm going to talk a bit about that. So this is what again you get when you first open Bootstrap Studio up and uh, create design. I'm just going to put, uh, I'll just call that JavaScript and create and then we go in there. So first things first really just put a paragraph and we'll try this thing out. And again, go from the bottom and do the styles and everything. So we've got that. And then we're just going to go create. And I'm going to put background color. And I'm just going to do this as uh, maybe it's orange. There we go. And I'm also going to put um, font size as extra large, I hope, for this. Okay, and that should be okay. So what I'll say is interesting, I think I might have mentioned in, a, in another video, is the convert to HTML. So you right-click the paragraph, anywhere in the paragraph, and just convert to HTML. Um, and you do that, and then you just put edit code, and here you have... The paragraph which is that so we're just going to put a, a few words in there something like Mary had a little lamb a little lamb and if you apply that if you don't apply it you've got to apply it and here if you don't it won't come up so they just do that Mary had a little lamb so now uh, what we want to do is we're just going to um, go into the JavaScript and this JavaScript is just down here at the at the bottom here and we just my oh, mouse has stopped a little bit there and we create new JS and we're just going to call this first JS um, and we're going to open that hopefully that will okay come on there we are so first JS just double click that and we're just gonna i've got a um a video about the first basics of J uh, javascript language and um i'll just put the link there and uh, you can check that out it's just about getting getting started on i've got a, a few videos on javascript things like variables and that but this particular one does get you already started so if you're just coming in this from um Maybe it's a graphics background or, or a person who hasn't really done much HTML or uh, JavaScript. It's maybe not a bad place to start. But this is just to, uh, just to get people going with the uh, Bootstrap uh, JavaScript editor. And I'm just going to put in a few uh, things. And I'm just going to put... It works the same way as the styles. The CSS editor does. It actually puts the link in the browser um, or the link into the web page to the in this case first js so anyway i want to just put very a equals one uh, two semicolon very b equals three semicolon and we just put something like uh, document dot write um and we just put in a divided by uh, b and another semicolon again we have to make this apply so we have to have to click that apply and then we just go in and preview this preview disabled come on open in browser mary had a little lamb and here we have the devil's number 666 uh but if we just close this and we say um, just add this and again apply and that changes to five so that's where it is it's two plus uh, three which, which of course is five you can divide this or anything like this again this is very basic JavaScript apply and I've just done the divide one um, and plus and uh, times by that. So of course this should be six. 
as it is so you see that on the, the side there and that's basically uh, how the JavaScript works what is a little bit complicated in this program is how the JavaScript's going to align with uh, the HTML or you go in the custom code which is where I've put Mary Lad a little lamb. So, for example, if in the paragraph of P we go um, on click, which is part of JavaScript, and we just put in some speech marks, and then with the parathesis, we go first, oh, can't even spell now, first, and this is going to call a function. So, again, we apply that. And then we go to first, um, and down here we go function. And this is for people, if you, if you know JavaScript, this is just basically how this works with the HTML. First, our thesis, and these funny little black things. And we're just going to put alert, get part of thesis, uh, A plus B. And this is going to call up the alert button box and again semicolon so again apply and we're gonna just refresh the browser and there you go there it says five so you just um, unclick that and uh, again that's five because the you've got the um, alert a plus b which is five and that's basically how you use the um use the the javascript editor it's if i if i was doing it myself i think i would still use a code editor for this but um and i would find this a little bit complicated really but i think uh, i think for maybe small things um if you're writing going to write a, an app or something like that i think it would be very difficult to to do it that way but that's just me um and it's what you're used to, I think, sometimes as well. But if you're coming in and just want a few lines of JavaScript, I think that could be a worthy thing. Um, but yeah, so that's basically how how the JavaScript uh, is going. JavaScript is going to work on this. So thanks for watching and thanks for listening.